after I'm confused and the sky is getting heavy tonight We'll never know, you never know tonight We'll never know, you never know And what is music, where is happiness? Cause oh, please don't let it rain tonight We'll never know, you never know I'm over and 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 over
Hey you guys, uh, Chris here, and instead of doing homework, I'm just uh, sitting here doing some uh, Dueling Network duels for you, another Blast on the Past deck profile. I know I had done um, the Baboon deck profile before, but I've kind of got this one going on here now, or not Baboon Burn, I'm sorry, uh, Quick Draw, and this is Baboon Burn. Back in 2007, around the Perfect Circle format, if y'all don't really know what that is, I'll do a Blast on the Past format on that. But unfortunately, that one will have to be done in Unlimited or Traditional. I'm not sure which because it runs banned cards like it ran Premature Burial, Disc Commander, stuff like that. Now, this deck could do the same, but this one still kind of functions the same as it did a while ago. Only now it's a little faster. You have options to, like, exceed and stuff. But let me get into, like, the explanation of the deck. The deck is called Baboon Burn because of Green Baboon. Now, for those of you who haven't been playing for a really long time, back in 2007, like, when this deck was relevant... Green Baboon was limited to one, and um, it was only it only came as a subscription promo for Shonen Jump Magazine, so it was a $60 card. But now it's, like, at three, and it's less broken, because basically the way they ruled it back then is you can activate his uh, effect during the damage step. As you can see here in Problem Solving Card Text, it says, except during the damage step. But that was irrelevant back then, because it wasn't ruled that way. You could activate his effect when one of your beast monsters was destroyed by battle, but by paying a 1,000 life points... It was in your hand or in the graveyard, and a face up beast type monster you control was destroyed. You know, like in battle, if it was face down, it would flip face up and then be destroyed, so you could summon Baboon. He was a 2600 beater that was really good, and in this deck, he serves as like a monster that can be discarded with Redox, special summoned with Redox, or in those rare instances where like they mirror force or something, or torrential tribute on the summon of a giant rat or an emblem manga. If you're even summoning the manga or the panda, you just uh, drop your Baboon and say, attack, or whatever, because they've just wasted a resource, now you've got a 2600 beater on the field. Uh, three Gyaku Gyar Pandas, I'm thinking of cutting him down to, like, two in this build, one or two, because he's not as, you know, great as he used to be, because now there's stuff running around, like, Fiendish Chain, Dimensional Prison, you know, back then you had stuff like Sakuretsu Armor, but also Mirror Force was limited to one, and stuff like that. But for every monster your opponent controls, he gains 500 attack, and, um, as you can see in the video, he gained a lot of power off of, uh, Ojama Trio. And he pierces as well. So he gets over the Ojama token for 2300 if your opponent has a full field. Hits him uh, for, yeah, 2300 battle damage plus the extra 300 from the Ojama tokens. Which is pretty broken because as you saw in the uh, videos right beforehand, I dark hold him for his last 700 when uh, he activated Wabaku on the attack. So, yeah. You got three Nimble Mangas. Him being destroyed by battle basically makes the uh, Green Baboon free. Like, I mean, of course, now you can't just use it when it's destroyed, but later in the game, if they destroy a Nimble Malanga, uh, or a Beast Time Monster after you've used Nimble's effect, it's basically free. Two card cards, because you run Trags and Gores, and then I just think two card card D is extremely strong when you run cards like that. Plus the Maxis, be, like, it along with the Maxis are good reasons to run Trag Gores and Redox in the stack. Um, three Giant Rat to get to your Pandas, your Momongas, and your Injection Fairy Lily in case you really need it to beat over something. And that can just be really strong, and it also fills up the uh, Graveyard for Redox, etc. And it opens up plays with Trigodia to go, or other Giant Rats, to go into Cowboy for more burn damage, uh, Silent Honor Arc, or Exiton Knight. Which, in one of the games I was looking back and I realized, man... I really should have gone for a uh, Exiton Knight instead of Draco Sack, but, you know, whatever. And then two Trags and Gores as hand traps because your fields um, can get kind of empty, and I opted to run these instead of, um, I opted to run these instead of stuff like Battle Fader, or I'm not, sorry, uh, Swiss Scarecrows that would also be compatible with Redox, because the point of this deck, as you can tell, is, you know, it's called Baboon Burn, but the basic point of the deck is to burn and beat. And that's what just gets your opponent's life points down a lot faster than, in my opinion, Chamber. And you really have to think a lot better about which cards you're going to summon, like, what you're going to do. And you have to play around back, back row a little better than you do in um, Chamber and stuff like that. Two Maxis against Special Summon Heavy decks. And, you know, I'm going to do an entire video on Maxi because I'm tired of saying, oh, well, people can just stop or stuff like that. He goes, well, you know what, I'll talk about that all in Maxi. Jesus Christ, low price, twenty eight ninety nine. Is that for Supers? Doubt it. And then the Injection Fairy Lily, because you can summon it off a of Giant Rat, um, you can Normal Summon it, and it's pretty much just free with Nimble Momonga. I mean, yeah, sure, you can get Fiendish Chained and Dimensional Prison, but it baits, it, one, it baits them out, and two, you can bring it up off of the Giant Rat and just use it to protect yourself against your opponent's stuff. 
Now, as you can tell, game one, if you look through the deck, I was running um, Grand Soil over the Fairy Lily, but I played the one game and realized that I had made that change before, so... And Triple Potter Duality, because obviously you could set a lot of cards, it's just basically the setup card. Uh, triple MST, because you are running a deck that relies on beating your opponent's life points as well, so you use MST to clear out the problem cards. And a Dark Hole, because one, it clears fields, and two, it gives you some burn damage off of the Ojama Trio. Now it traps two Ojama Trio, um, gives your opponent, you know, the uh, three Ojama Tokens, which combine with three Just Desert, three Secret Barrel, three Gyaku Gyar Pandas, it's broken. Three just desserts because your opponent's fields clog up really fast, especially with stuff like Draco Sack tokens floating around, and Ojama Trio as well fills up the field. As you can saw, I hit people for like 5,000 damage with two just desserts. Ceasefire because it's the most broken. Uh, it's the most broken burn card in my opinion. They also like it. You don't get damage off of Ojama tokens because they're not considered effect monsters. At least I don't think any tokens are. I think I'm just thinking of trap monsters that are, but. You know, in the future, there could be a reprint of this card. If it's not Trap Monsters and it's actually tokens that I'm thinking of, we might see some reprints of this card that, you know, count the tokens as effect monsters, but I doubt that. But, um, yeah, anyways, it, like, since your one nimble manga can set two, that's instantly an extra 500 as opposed to the one manga that you would get for flipping it up. You can spam your field with, uh, you know, monsters like the mangas, the panda and stuff, to your opponent's field of effect monsters and just go cease fire and burn. Barrel, because it punishes players for having too much hand advantage. Like, say, you know, my opponent gets off some kind of broken draw card. Like, if they had six cents for six back in the day, that would have been extra... Or, not that far back in the day. That far back in the day, they I think they had to worry about that in Japan. But, like, say they were able to six cents for six in Japan, you just flip up Secret Barrel and it's an extra 1,200 damage. Or I should say an extra 1,000 damage as to what would be before, because the... Uh, like, it would be six extra cards, but it would be uh, one for five, techni or one for six, which in the end means a uh, five card advantage to your opponent, so it would only do a thousand more than it normally would do, but that's really powerful. Two magic cylinders, I wanted to run three, but, like, there are some really big monsters out there, and if you just flip up a magic cylinder on them, then, you know, chances are you're going to hit them for really big damage. And after you see that, you see some of the chainable cards, such as, you know, Trio, Just Desserts, all of this, Reckless they're not going to want to blind MST as much, and the Magic Cylinder will be, you know, pretty much safe, unless they don't know what you're playing, and they just blind MST and hit it, which blind MSTing is bad in the first place, but whatever. And then, three Reckless Greed to draw into your stuff, which, I, I really don't like using the Reckless Greeds until I figure, feel like I'm in some kind of situation where I can flip up the Reckless Greed, draw some cards, and, uh, you know, gain some sort of advantage off of it. Then, you know, extra deck isn't really important. I was just kind of filling it up with stuff that I could go into a lot, like the threes with the Gyaku Panda and the Trag, fours with the Giant Rat and the Trag, and sevens with the uh, um, Trag, Gores, uh, Panda, and the Redox. And, you know, that's the deck. Let me know what you guys think. I know it's not extremely competitive, and I know some of the decks from, like, less than mediocre that I played against, but I thought it would be a pretty cool deck to show y'all, kind of give you a break from all the meta, you know, seeing Firefish and Dragons and Mermails and shit running around. But, uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and, uh, peace out.